Hi there, it's Brendan Howe here with your TDC Net Tech Tip, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Today, I'm doing the third in my five part series on Office 365. If you missed the first two parts, please go to our website at tdcnet.ca and have a watch. The first video was an introduction to Office 365. The second video talked about some of the benefits of it. Now today I'm gonna to dive a little bit deeper into SharePoint Online which is a program that's included within the Office 365 package. And I wanna tell you today what SharePoint Online is and some of the most common uses of it. So SharePoint Online is a way that you can store, organize, share, access information from anywhere, just simply through a web browser, any type of web browser. So here are the top six things that businesses around the globe are using SharePoint Online for. And by the way, a lot of smaller businesses are starting to use SharePoint when it used to only be more of a big business type of thing. So use number one, a company intranet site. You know, as your business grows, there's more of a need to have a centralized place to have news, resources, information about the company. It, you can create through SharePoint your own company website that's only available to internal employees. You can even give it a bit of a social media feel uh, that might be more attractive to some members of your team. Number two, second most, uh, one of the other most common ways to use SharePoint through as a online document library. So a lot of people are, are traveling in different parts of the, the country. Maybe your office has multiple offices. Uh, maybe you just like to work from different locations quite often client sites from home that sort of thing well with an online document library you can upload your files you don't have to worry about using Dropbox or, or different services like that you can have a file repository where you can download any files or use any files that you need no matter where you are here's another here's another use that a lot of businesses are using the collaboration side of things maybe you have two people that are in a different location but they're doing the same kind of work and they need to work on a document together well, SharePoint Online will let you work on the same document at the same time, which is kind of neat. You don't have to be in the same room. Another way people are using SharePoint is to share documents outside of your company. So the, traditionally, people would have used FTP services or, again, things like Dropbox or Box.net or, or, or that sort of thing. Well, SharePoint's a very secure way to share large documents particularly with people that are outside your company, maybe a, a supplier, um, a client, um, a partner, that sort of thing. Uh, you, can, you can use SharePoint to send uh, and to share documents with. Another thing that we see quite often with SharePoint that companies do is create team or project sites. Say you're working on a big project, there's a bunch of people both internal and external to your company that are working on that project. Well, what you can do is you can create a site specific to that project, a place to put files, resources, calendar, news, all that sort of thing which can be very valuable and can increase efficiency with that project. And last but not least, document versioning. A lot of people have this, this challenge with file servers. Unless people save different versions of documents, it's a little harder to do document versioning. Well, SharePoint allows you to do that. So if you ever need to look at a previous version of a document, pull up old changes, that sort of thing, you can do that within SharePoint. So one of the things that uh, a lot of people, a lot of businesses, especially IT people like about SharePoint is there's a whole bunch of flexibility with permissions. So if you wanna give people access to certain parts of your SharePoint site, certain files, that sort of thing, the, the opportunities are endless. There's a whole lot of control that you have which makes things quite a bit easier. So there you go. There's your intro to SharePoint Online. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please feel free. Share it with your friends, social media, by email, post a comment on our website, that sort of thing. And remember, when you're implementing SharePoint Online, it's just like implementing any other software. You have to have a really good plan and you have to execute it well. So there you go. That's your TDC Net Tech Tip. I'm Brendan Howe, giving you tips and tricks on how to use technology more effectively. Have a great day.